Welcome. You've got mail. Hello, everyone. Retro Robbie here. And guess what today is? Today is going to be my first mail call day. I decided to do mail call. I'm combining packages that I've gotten. Um, i got some hockey here that I haven't opened up that I've bought. Um, I would like to share with you. I got a trade from someone. Someone saw some of my cards on my YouTube channel and said, Hey, would you be willing to do a trade? I said, Of course I will. You know, it wasn't stuff that I needed. He needed them. So I wanted to make sure he got it. So we did a trade, and this is his response. I don't even know what's in here because I just said, Hey, just give me what you feel was worth it. So I did that, and we got some TTM returns. So, uh, I'm going to be opening those up. I've been always saying, I said, send this through the mail. Send this. I'll like, see if I can get an autograph. Well, I got two back, so uh, we'll be opening those up too. So let's not waste any time. Let's break into it. I'm going to start with the hockey ones first. So as you know, I collect hockey. Um, you know, I always buy singles. If I see some of my favorite players, I will try to bid on them. And then I'll build on, bid on extra cards as well, just so I have enough. And a lot of times I lose, but this is something I want. I think this might be only one or two cards in this one. I think this one was the bigger pack. So all the way from my brothers up north in Canada, because all hockey cards come from Canada. Because <laughs> that's the only sport they like up there. <laughs> in the Blue Jays, maybe. So here we go. Boom! There's the one card. And there he is. That's from the... That's an exquisite rookie card and it's autograph of Elias Anderson so I bid on that I actually won it I was actually shocked I won it because I just threw a stink bid up there I don't really collect him um but you know I decided to go for it number seven of 199 and I think that was the only one of that one and that's the only one I won um Elias Anderson so very nice there's the autograph or initials. Yeah, unfortunately, <laughs> that's why I love the older players because the newer kids, I, know, I think that, you know, I don't think they even teach cursive anymore. They, they just initial things. And that's too bad because that's what you get for an autograph nowadays. But we'll take it. There's an exquisite rookie. Here's the second one. I think it was in two packages because I bid on that. I forgot I bid it on that. It was like two days after this one. So this is the main pack. I bid on a bunch of stuff. So let's see what we get. We're going to go boom. Oh, that's right. There's going to be two. Maybe that's all I got was two on this one. That's why I don't have any of these. There we go. I'll start with a Blake Hillman of the Chicago Blackhawks. And that is from uh, the Cup. And for you people, the cup is like the one of the most expensive products you can ever buy a box of. They're like a thousand bucks a piece. Maybe one day if I hit the lottery, I can open those. I don't know how some of those people can open it up and I'm sure they sell it. But this is, you know, Blake Kilman did not play very much. So number 13 of 36. So it's a very, very low number card. The only reason why I got him, he actually played... Uh, I, I have season tickets to a minor league team, and he was on it. So I like collecting the autographs from uh, my minor team that I love to watch, and he played that year. So I grabbed him. It was cheap. I took it. And so there he is. The only time you'll probably even mention it in a video, Blake Kilman <laughs> from the Chicago Blackhawks. And the last card I got there is Andreas Atlasio. It is a stick stick relic of of him so very nice we will take that there's the back that's numbered to 34 of 65 so there's that one so that's why i got it i'm a huge red wings fan so we will take it so that is my hockey break so just uh three cards two autographs and a stick card and like I said, I collect a lot of Red Wings. I have so many Red Wings cards. It's probably not even funny. So <laughs> that's my team. That's my jam. So I know he's currently playing, I believe, for the Kings. So, all right, let's do the trade here. Like I said, I do not know what he got me. You know, one of the, one of my regular viewers saw that I had some stuff, 
And he said, can I get them from you? And I said, yeah, give me the list and I'll send them to you. So I sent him the list, or he sent me the list. I gave him some cards. So this is his return. I said, I don't care. Give me whatever you want. Well, there it is. Boom. It is sealed for my protection. So, yeah, it's really sealed for my protection. So here is the trade. And if you see something on there that you really want to trade for, let me know. I might say yes. Now, I might give you all my cards, but, you know, I, I, I will trade for some of them. So here we go. Here we go. I'm going to uh, close our few cards to cover your shipping costs and to say thanks. I went with mostly a Tiger, some Hall of Famers, and one Troil? Troil? Toll. I can't read that word. I hope you can do more trades in the future. So there he is. So I'm going to get rid of his thing there. Here we go. So, boom! They're going to start out with a 1976 Mickey Lolich. So very nice. That's in good shape, too. Wow, I'm in... I'm impressed. Now I feel bad. I gotta give him more. <laughs> I'll make it up to him. That's for sure. I always do. Mickey Lolich, 1976 Tigers. Love it. Oh, very nice. Hey, look at that. We're gonna get some Jimmy Dean. That's gonna be a pack there. Should we open it up? Looks like you didn't open it. Oh, if Ricky Henderson says something. Let's open it up for the sake of. YouTube and my first mail call. We will open this up. Jimmy Dean. I think I like got the Cal Ripken of Jimmy Jean. So there's gonna be three of them here. First one's gonna be Cecil Fielder. So we will we'll take that. Now I gotta get this whole set of Jimmy Dean sausage. Ah, <laughs> you people sometimes. Now I gotta go over this set because baseball and Jimmy Dean sausage go hand in hand. Right? Right? Am I right? Cecil Fielder, very nice. And look at that. Get a nice Ryan Sandberg. Jimmy Dean love there. And the last card is Ricky Henderson. So very nice. Now I got to collect all 25 cards of these. So <laughs> let's see if there's anything out there in eBay and open some of those. So very nice. Hey, look at that. It's Mike Schmidt. Yes, Mike Schmidt. Pete Rose, Philly's finest. I just got this card recently. I got another one. Mike Schmidt. I'm going to have to create a Mike Schmidt book. That's it. I usually put all my stuff in by the years, but I got to have a Mike Schmidt album and just have every Mike Schmidt I could possibly have that's not part of my set because this is so awesome. Pete Rose and Mike Schmidt. Very nice. I will take that all day long. Up next, <laughs> and of course, you got to throw in a super veteran because I love my super veterans. I always get so many super veterans. I got to pile this high now, super veterans. I love it. It's the joke of my channel, and I love it. That's what makes this fun. This is why I love doing it. Have fun with this. It's the fun of collecting. And we can never get enough super veterans. This one is Rod Carew, and of course, that's from... 83 tops, so we will take that up next. Hey, Mark the Bird Friedrich. So very nice from 1978. That's in good shape, too. I'll take that all day long. Mark Friedrich from the Tigers, the bird. Man, if there was an example of a guy that blew his arm out and never rebounded, it's this guy right here. He was so good at 76. Blew his arm out. I think it was that year. No, I think, yeah, 79 he made blew his arm out. No, he blew it out that year. He only played 11, 11 games. But, man, if he didn't stay injured, uh, he, I think he died of a freak farming accident. So, rest in peace, Bird. I loved you. Growing up, watching you was so wonderful and so worth it. So, up next, we got a 1983 Fleer of Glenn Wilson. So... Very nice. He got traded to the Phillies, if I recall, before 84. Probably feel guy sad for that guy because he get traded just before they win the World Series. But there he is, Glenn Wilson from the Tigers. Up next, hey, very nice 1976 team card of the Tigers with Ralph Hulk as the manager. We will take that. I think I have this one, but it is in good shape. I'll compare it against my book and see what we get. So very nice. I will take that. 
Hey, we're going to get one of those mini cards. Yeah, those league leader cards of Robin Yonth from the Brewers. What year is that? 89. You know, I think I had the 86. I had the 87. I might even have the 88s, but I don't think I'd collected 89. I got to look into that. I stopped collecting them because they weren't much value. <laughs> I remember I bought them. I thought they were so cool. And then I said, then I said, oh, well, it's not worth that much. So I stopped collecting them. I think I, I know for a fact I have 86 and 87. I think I stopped after that year. But that's a nice card. Robin Yonth Mini of 1989 tops. And last card is 1982 of Johnny Bench. We will take that. Very nice. I love it. Well, thank you so much. I will definitely do another trade with you. That was, I think you went over and beyond what I gave you. So uh, now, you know, you want to do another trade. I, <laughs> I got to respond back. So let me know what you like. I know you sent me a couple lists and I got to still go through it. So thank you. I appreciate it. And again, thank you for letting me open it up live because that's more fun when I can open it up live. So here we go. These are my first two TTMs. So I've been sending the players, um, you know, on my channel. If I get a lot of those cards, I try to send them off. Or if they're gum damaged, you know, if they're damaged like, uh, you know, like that or like that or like that, I try to find cards of them and send them off to see if I can get signed. So. Um, I think both of these were, I got a lot of them in my prior channel. So these all come from my channels. Um, so um, any cards you see, I try to get them signed from the videos. That's what makes it even more fun. And if I do multiples of them, I will give them away in a giveaway one of these days. And I told the players that. I said, I'm going to keep one and I'll probably give away the rest. So this one's from Puerto Rico. I am actually shocked how quickly this came back to me because I was on the fence. Uh, should I should I send off for him? Should I not send off for him? Um, some guy on the channel actually said, hey, yeah, he does sign. So throw a little money his way and he'll sign. So I throw a little money his way. And uh, so here we go. Boom. Next time, $1 each. <laughs> so there he actually signed the cards. I don't... He, Look at that. He didn't want my sticker. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That is awesome. He signed my sticker. That is so cool. I I did not expect that at all. Um, You know, that is awesome. So I'm going to give you a hint. Or, you know, he, uh, as you can see, he played for the Pittsburgh Pirates. Um, he signed both index cards. So, uh, actually, I got three index cards. Wow. I got mega load of his autograph. <laughs> I, over, I must have overpaid him because next time, $1 each. You know what, Mr. Lind? I'm going to give you more because you are a super duper guy. There he is, Jose Lind. This is on a pinnacle. Uh, as you saw, he was on one of these cards. There he is again, uh, Jose Lynn from the Leaf. And there he is again. And, and uh, Bowman, that one's a little hard to see. And there's that awesome card of 92 score. So Jose Lynn, wow, sir, I, you went above and beyond, actually. I did not expect any of that. So there he is, Jose Lynn. Very nice. I... You know, thank you so much. That is way more than I anticipated. I didn't even expect these to get signed. I usually do them to cover the cards up to make sure they don't get bent, you know. Um, so, wow. Definitely going to be some giveaways here for his autograph. So, Mr. Jose Lynn, thank you. I hope you get a look at the channel, and uh, I appreciate it. From the bottom of my heart, he <laughs> signed my sticker. I, that's meant for you to keep, not to um, sign, but I might give that a giveaway too. So there he goes. He signed my sticker. So very nice. I love it. Uh, thank you so much, Mr. Lind. I appreciate it. And I appreciate your contribution to the game. So up next is this one. It's from Illinois. So I think I know who this is, but we're going to pull it out anyways. Here it is. We're going to get the Rhino Love. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. We're going to get 
Ryan Sandberg autograph. So there we go. There it is on a 90, 90 Bowman. And <laughs> as you remember, oh, I only got one. Uh, I thought I sent him enough money to do maybe up this price because uh, I thought they were five bucks a piece. He only signed one, but one out of four. What are you going to do? We will try again. I'll have to look. I thought it was $5 a piece. I sent him 20 but maybe he raised his price up. So, hey, what are you going to do? You know, got over. I got the overachiever, and then I got the one. So, I will try again. Um, so, still again, thank you, Mr. Sandberg, for signing the card. I if if it's if it's twenty bucks a piece, I will send more. So to your charity, um, if if you don't know, he uh, I think his charity is Rhinos uh, Kids. I will post that on there because he signed my card. Um, I will make sure I will send more. I'll resend this back. Maybe he doesn't sign Fleer. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe if anyone's gotten Ryan Sandberg experience, let me know. Uh, maybe I I thought the book said it was five bucks a piece, but maybe it's twenty bucks a piece. But you know what? It's going to Rhino's kids, and it's a good charity. So, Mr. Sandberg, I want to get these signed back, and I will add twenty bucks a piece to your charity because what you do, sir, your contribution is surely uh, what well, goes to a good cause. So, thank you, Mr. Sandberg. I appreciate it. We will get these signed as well. Um, like I said, we'll bring it again next time. So. That is it. That was my two TTMs, my very first TTM. So um, we will take it. Um, thank you for watching. Let me know what you thought of my first mail call. I will do more if you want. Um, and when I get trades in or get some hockey cards I bought or get some more TTMs. I got to get more TTMs out. I haven't done it in the last week or so. So, so thank you, Mr. Lynn. Thank you, Mr. Sandberg. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Retro Robbie saying, collect what you love.